Hi guys, AT and Dap here and welcome to the latest match day vlog, Doncaster Rovers vs Morecambe in League 2 at the Eco Power Stadium. Let's get the video started. So guys, welcome to this match day vlog. If you're an existing subscriber, thank you so much for sticking with the channel and supporting the channel, especially last week when I wasn't well and not uploading any content, but we have got a plethora of content this weekend. If you've not seen it already, the League 2 deep dive for the 72 review came out yesterday. Um, the match day preview for this one came out yesterday afternoon as well. If you want to catch up with that and hear my thoughts in a little bit more detail, be in the top corner of the screen, go and check that out. This morning was the League 1 deep dive. Tomorrow morning is the Championship deep dive for the 72 review. Tomorrow night is the live stream, so plenty of content to get your teeth stuck into. So if this is the first video that you've seen on the channel and you fancy sticking around, please do click subscribe and join us on this footballing journey uh, but yeah today match day vlog Donny versus Morecambe let's get down to it so usual format we'll get down to the ground and um, try and get a few fans get their opinions on the season so far uh, we'll get the family's thoughts we'll check out the Rovers confirmed team lineup and then hopefully I'll be capturing some celebrations in the stands from the fans and um, hopefully the home fans today so without further ado let's get down to the ground and hopefully enjoy a decent afternoon of football. So we're down at the ground. I've gone with a 3-1 win. Um, what are we going with, Max? 2-1 Donny. 2-1 Donny? Yeah. Oh, we'll set that. be nice to get a clean sheet, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Pete, you are here from France. Yes, welcome. Welcome, welcome back to England. Um, hopefully you're bringing us some luck. 2-0. Uh, 2-0 to Donny. Yeah. There we go. Going to be positive. Don't know why, but I'm going to be positive. <laughs> we'll take it. Uh, moving on to Dad. Um, quick score prediction. Um, I'll go for 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it will be for one minute. <laughs> but then, on the league basis, I'll go for 2-2 two, two and mix it up a bit. Yeah. All right. There we go. Lovely stuff. And finally, we have got Chris. Uh, quick score prediction for today. Uh, yeah, sounds right. Yeah. Um, I think I'll go for a 2-1. Donny. 2-1. Yeah. There yeah. we go. I don't so go for other teams. So confidence yeah. in the family. Yeah. Hopefully that no, is... Just hope two good wins hopefully this, uh, this coming week and then yeah. we can uh, be right back up in mix. Lovely yep. stuff. Right. There we go. Cheers. So you've heard what the family think today, confidence in the squad, hopefully that confidence comes true and it's a decent win for the Rovers. Let's hear what a Morecambe fan had to say in fans thoughts. So guys, welcome to Fans Sports. Got a couple of Morecambe fans, one um, experienced, one a little less experienced uh, from the chat before we started before we started rolling. Um, so we'll, we'll talk to talk to you first. Um, uh, season so far, currently 12th, three points away from playoffs. Do you think you've got enough to bounce straight back to League One? Well, we had a really good start to the season. Um, our home form has been excellent. We've only lost once at home all season. That's good. Um, last season in League One, we really struggled with our away form. But we did pick up some wins. And we seem to be to be getting there. Um, obviously, the season took a bit of a twist when Derek Adams left the club and went to Ross County. Um, and we've got a new manager now in Jed Brannan. Um, I think it's too early to say how we think he'll do. Um, but really, if when it comes to bouncing back into League One. Um, I think it really depends on whether we can keep our loan players in January. We've got five players on loan who have all done really, really yeah. well. Um, so if we can keep them, then we may be in, in with a chance of playoffs. Yeah, there's question marks over ownership as well at the minute, isn't there? So obviously if that if that happens before January, there might be an influx of, of funds to, to keep these loanees, maybe bring them in permanently, things like that. So there is a, still a few question marks over that, isn't there? Um, but yeah, hopefully all gets sorted pretty quickly. In my preview, I've gone with uh, Michael Mellon as the one to watch. He's, I think he's scored 13 goals for you guys this season, if I'm right. Um, you know your club much better than what I do. Uh, am I about right with that, or is there other players that we should be watching out for today? Michael Mellon's definitely got an eye for goal, um, and he has done really, really well this season. Um, he obviously came in last season on loan as well and didn't really do too much. He wasn't quite ready for League One, but he has um, he's been brilliant for us this season. Um, he's led the line really well. Um, he's been backed up as well by quite a young um, attack, um, so Mick Millen's only 20, um, we've got Tom Bloxham on the wing, he's done really well as well, he's only 20, yeah. JJ McKinnon, um, who's come in and he's been exceptional as well, the centre attacking mid, so uh, I would look out for him as well. So there's a fair few names there. We've got a young player in Adam Mayer who's come through the academy, um, and he's probably in terms of like players that have signed on to Mark and permanently he's having his eyes at the moment yeah. and he may go in January so 
Um, we, we've got a lot of good young players um, and they're really eager to do well. Yeah. Um, and they're an exciting team to watch at the moment. Hopefully not today. <laughs> um, and I'll let you get off, uh, but just before you do, you do go, uh, just a score prediction. I've gone with a, a 3 1 win to the Rovers purely because you guys form coming into this four defeats, one draw in your last five. Um, I may be wrong, we've got quite a lot of injuries, so I think it could be a little bit tighter than that. We'll, uh, we'll start with a l less experienced fan. <laughs> go for a score that prediction, mate. More experience. I'm going to say 1 1. 1 1. I'm not really sure what you guys are like, but I, I do remember losing. To you guys, I think, yeah. to go. Home, home form's not bad this season, away form's poor, so I'm, I'm a little more confident here than, than what I would be if we were at your place. So, yeah, I one, 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 I'd, I'd probably take that to be fair. I think you might just grab a 1-0 win. Oh, we will see. I hope you have a good day here at the Eco Power. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. So a big thank you to the Morecambe fans for getting involved there, very knowledgeable, really enjoyed having a chat with them on and off camera. Um, but we have got the confirmed Rovers team lineup now, it's Louis Jones in goal, three changes from Saturday's draw at Accrington, Tom Anderson in, uh, in the defence with Joseph Oluwu, um, Luke Molyneux is in the squad, Harrison Biggins, Tom Nixon, Owen Bailey, Joe Ironside, Kyle Hurst, Jack Senior and Mo Farr make up the 11 with the bench looking decent with Ian Lawler, James Sterry, uh, Tommy Rowe, Jack DeGrucci. Tavonga Kalea, Jack Goodman and Will Flint so a couple of injuries has brought the uh, youngsters back in there's a couple of players on there that may change it if needed uh, but we're looking threadbare once again with some of the youngsters coming in but the decent youngsters hopefully the starting 11 gives us enough to get the three points let's go and watch the first half start for the Rovers seven minutes in and we've not really had all the ball that much and we've been punished from a corner uh, didn't get to the second ball didn't get out quick enough we've let him cut in from the from the from the wide area as we've done with so many other teams previously this season so question marks on what we actually work on in training because it's the same sort of goals that we're conceding every single game um, but try not to take it away from him. he's cutting from the left and a wonderful finish with his right foot into Louis Jones's bottom left hand corner that Louis couldn't really do anything about disappointing from the midfield in defence not getting out there quick enough and blocking that shot got a lot to do here 1-0 um, down 8 gone now gone and Rovers growing into this game after going 1-0 down a couple of really good opportunities there a couple of really good saves from the keeper and then Mo Farr just snatches it and blazes it high and wide uh, but we've been the slightly better team since going one down I think that's partially because Morecambe have just sat in and they're waiting for us to break them down we need to start moving the ball a little bit quicker they look dangerous on the attack uh, probably end up breaking against us at some point while we're pushing forward just want to free kick a very dangerous area there uh, but yeah, 20 gone, still 1-0 to walk. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. boys! not to get back into it um, Louis Jones makes a really good save because he, he's in miles of space he has to be offside Lino's miles behind play initial viewing he looked offside when the ball was played through uh, no flag came Louis Jones made a good save the defence almost got back but Mellor's managed to squeeze it in at the second attempt but very very frustrating because we've been growing into this game 34 gone and it's now Rovers nil Morecambe 2 and I think that could be this game done because Morecambe are defending extremely well um, and hitting us on the break Unfortunately, the Lino can't keep up with Morecambe's breaking pace, and that is it. 2 0. 
worse off, 34 gone. Half time at Rovers, nil Morecambe 2 in a very poor first half from the Rovers. We're in it for little bits in between, going 1-0 down and going 2-0 down. Uh, Looked like we've grown into the game and could possibly get back into it. But yeah, Morecambe just putting the extra yard in. More effort, more desire, more determination. Deservingly 2-0 up. Um, with the chances that they've had really um, frustrating I don't know if it was offside or onside need to have a look at that again but it looked miles off um, or, or certainly offside maybe not miles it might have been tight but yeah frustrating to be 2-0 down a uh, couple of good saves from Morgan Keeper kept them in it um, but yeah we've just not been able to get a foothold of the game not really spread the ball around zipped it about it, 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 with enough pace or kind of desire to, to, to break Morecambe down so we go into the break 2-0 down hopefully we can do what they did to us a couple of seasons back in League 1 and turn this one on its head in the second half let's go and watch it come on boys better second half oh, we're going to find somewhere else oh boys we are useless. What's up, William? The shit. Everything that was said at half time, rip it up, gone. Game is done. 3 0 down just after half time. Another set piece that we don't deal with. We don't deal with the second ball, we let them cut in, we let them have a shot, we don't deal with the third ball. We just look an absolute shadow of a team today. Very, very poor from start to finish. We've had a little spell in the first half where we looked half decent, where Morgan keepers made, pulled, pulled off a few decent saves. But other than that, we're just not quick enough. We're not moving, we're not finding his own players. Morecambe just look hungrier. Straight from the kickoff, we have lost the ball. We are shocking today, and this could be an absolute embarrassment. Number seven's through. Good save by Louis Jones, but this could get real nasty, real embarrassing if we do not switch on. 50 minutes gone, 3-0 against the team that looks very, very poor in all honesty. We made them look good. 55 minutes gone, and Grant McCann is fucking fuming. He has made four subs in one. Very clearly happy. Just like all of the fans in attendance, uh, it's been a poor showing from the Rovers. And Grant McCann's clearly fuming. Um, four subs very early on. The message clearly didn't land at half time. We've got a mountain to climb. Let's see if these boys come on and give us a bit of bigger. Um, something that we've just not had for 55 minutes. Yeah, not often you see this. Grant McCann doing it. 62 gone and that's our first real opportunity this half um, balls played forward Jack Goodman's beat the offside trap um, got in behind and narrowly wide to get us possibly back into this and at 3-1 the four changes look to have made a difference there's a bit more energy about us um, the young lads who have come on they, they won it and, and that's what we're missing in, in the first half and the, at the start of the second half maybe due to the injuries some of the more senior players know that they've got their place uh, but Obviously, Grant, very pissed off, bringing four players on. Uh, might just be playing on the current starting squad's minds and that they need to perform, or the, the kids will be given an opportunity. Uh, much better after that. Oh, no. So, 63 gone, still greener. Oh, what a finish. What a goal. What a goal. an absolute embarrassment 4-0 at home to Morecambe who came into this with the worst form in the league or the joint worst form in the league and they have just absolutely tore us to pieces they've taken the chances I say they've tore us to pieces they've not had to do a lot to be honest they've not had to they've not had to they've not had to push they've not had to kind of turn the screw against us it's been easy it's been far too easy for them to score for um, I think they probably had about four or five shots but that, that goal superb superb striking off the underneath of the bar I don't think Louis Jones could do much with any of them but yeah seriously pissed off um, 80 minutes gone 4-0 absolute embarrassment slightly better with the changes uh, but just a shockingly poor performance from the Rovers
fucking shit. There's no, <laughs> there's no other way of saying it. Um, just from back to front, we have been really poor today. Not interested. Morecambe have had that bit more desire. But like I say, they've not, they've not really had to ask a lot of questions of us to get 4 0 up. Uh, far too easy, but you know what? I am leaving this vlog here because it is frustrating. Um, it may be worse than what it is now, could be now. Morecambe on the attack again. But that's broke down and we're trying to get out, but it's just very, very poor. Yeah, so I'm not putting myself through anymore. Um, I will put the final score at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to leave it here because I am pissed off. So if you're more a fan of you and you've enjoyed this vlog, please stick a big thumbs up on it. I don't think many Rovers fans will be uh, liking this video. Comments in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And join us tomorrow for the 72 review where we'll... Uh, Sure, we'll try and dissect this very, very poor Rovers performance. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I know I finished video off, but it, it, it has got to five, and it is an absolute embarrassment of a performance. I get that there's injuries, I get that, the, that we're threadbare, but this, the, there's no excuse. There's just been no game management at all. Um, we have just been second best in every department. Um, a really poor goal to concede on that one. 5 0, that should be full time. Uh, yeah, refs blowing a whistle. Um, extremely poor. Probably one of the worst performances I've seen in a long time from a Rovers team. And if we continue like that, I fear for our season it is that serious um, on that performance. So I'm going to leave it. Thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, I haven't. Comment in the section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.